Oop. Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Um, it's Kate Beaters talking to you this Saturday morning. It's kind of drizzly outside, and I um, I wanted to share some some really cool mindset money strategy with you to really start um, to to kind of give you some th things to think about over the weekend. And you'll notice my my graphic um, that I posted when I was sharing this this notice. And you can see it's looking out the window and from the plane, you know, 35,000 feet high. And just if you're just getting to know me, I, I am, oops, let me just fix this a little bit. There we go, there we go, a little better. I am a, a former flight attendant when I was out of college, so I use a lot of airplane analogies as I'm talking and teaching. And I think it really helps people really understand and grasp my messaging and all that. So just to let you know, that's where it comes from. I typically do these brilliant strategies Monday mornings at 8.30 when I'm not traveling. However, um, I just this just came to me, and I was like, okay, I want to. Oops, again, I apologize for my hand right there. I want to um, want to teach that to all of you. So, what I want to really share with you today in today's short live stream, we're talking about money. And if this is something that interests you, and you think it'll interest your community, I'm going to ask you straight up. Please go ahead, share this this um, live stream, the, the link um, with your friends, so they can learn this too. And so what I want to share with you is that I recently was at an event, and of course, um, people are there traveling, and they're all there to learn and all that, and there were, you know, I was one of the speakers um, there, and there were several other speakers, and, you know, so people had different things that they were um, promoting different services, and what I find what gets in the way of, of people's growth is their mindset around money, because what pops up is what I call kind of like the, the middle class mindset around money. So what I mean by that, and I'm just going to give you kind of a short explanation because it's a Saturday. I don't want to keep you here too long, but just to kind of give you a little bit of thought is that with, with middle class income very often, it's, it's salary oriented, right? Or, or if you're hourly, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a set amount. So typically that means whether you get paid every week or bi-weekly, bi-monthly, whatever, that you're getting the same amount every month and it always is kind of figuring out, okay, how do I fit my lifestyle into that amount? Does that make sense with everybody who's listening? I don't know who's here yet so far. Um, let me just put this on so people can, people can see. But um, I'll just fix this. So if you're here, say good morning, say hello. Um, hi, Michelle. Uh, so, you know, understand that that's, that's kind of a mindset. So, you know, I know when I was salaried, you know, before I you know, previously when I was younger, I mean, it was all about fitting in what I wanted to do, whether it was, you know, where I lived, um, the type of car I had, um, the vacations, anything I spent, entertainment, savings, everything was based on that. And, you know, because you got a fixed income, right? You know, no matter what it was. And then if you were lucky enough to get an increase, you know, how they used to, they used to give you like annual reviews or something in corporate. I don't even think they do it anymore. But, you know, it'd be like, 1%, 2%, 3%, I mean, it's just this tiny, itty-bitty thing. And, you know, that doesn't really affect your, your lifestyle because everything else, like your cost of your, your utilities, your phone, your rent, your food, is going up so much higher. So it's always really trying to manage everything into that amount that you're getting, that fixed amount. So if it's 500 or if it's 1,000, whatever the heck it is, it's always about managing it and trying to get it to fit in. And then whatever's left over, if there's anything left over, you know, you go to the movies or go out to eat. And th that's not really such a great way to live. And, and I don't believe as an entrepreneur we need to live that way. And partly I have this belief, partly from mindset, but also from what I experienced because when I was in corporate, um, um, I, I've had several different positions in corporate, and one of them I started in as kind of a, um, a, a, an entry-level salaried position, and I happened to get $35,000 in raises because the owner of the company happened to like my suggestions, he liked my strategies, he liked what I was doing. So I never really had to deal with so much um, going forward after that with the small little increases I did when I was younger. And I, it was very, very difficult because you're, you're just constantly juggling things. So as an entrepreneur, and, and you know, and I learned this also doing business development, is that we're in charge of our own income. So back to the people I saw at this event who were trying to figure out, like, gee, this sounds good or that sounds good, but, you know, I don't have the money. I'm going to have to wait till I get the money. Again, that's the middle class mindset. Because as an entrepreneur, you can learn to bring in the money you need when you want it. So think about this. I'm not talking about a get-rich-quick scheme. Some people think when I talk about quick cash, it's all about getting rich, I'm selling you swamp land. Wrong. This is not swamp land. This is about really shifting your mindset and understanding that you've got the power to bring in the money you need. Because when you start to believe it and then you put it into action, then you're able to actually have that money show up. 
So does anybody, I don't know, it's Saturday morning. I don't know if anyone's awake yet. I might be giving you a lot of stuff that maybe you need your, your coffee or um, in my case, I'm, I'm drinking tea. Um, maybe you need that to kind of let it absorb. But I want you to really think about it and, and think about how has your middle class mindset been holding you back from, from really having all you want. Because if you are kind of looking at that and saying, well, gee, I'd really like that stuff. But, you know, how does that fit into my income? You're holding yourself back. I really want you to open up and I want to get you to start thinking about what is best for you and making those decisions. So whether it's a, a website, whether it's, you know, hiring a coach, whatever the heck it is, that you learn to make decisions based on what's best for you and not what's in your bank account, not what you have left over. Okay, so think about that for a moment. Being able to make decisions based on what's best for you, not what you have left over, and not what's in your bank account. So I know I've I'm, I'm got a lot of stuff going on this early Saturday morning, uh, making you guys really, really think. And, and that's okay. That's actually, that's actually a, a, a good thing. Because if I get you to start even thinking about it a little bit, you know, it's like going to the grocery store and, you know, you need a can of tuna and find, buying the tuna that's on sale. Now, if that's a tuna you like, that's awesome. But if it's not you like, the one you like, you're, you're always shortchanging yourself. And so one of the things I do help my clients with is charging what they're worth. But understand that your self-value, your self-worth shows up in every, every action you take. So if you're always looking for what's on sale, if you're always looking for the cheapest version, that's going to hold you back. And then ultimately, you know, when you want to charge more for your services or your products and all that, it's harder because you don't have that belief that you deserve all that. So again, a lot of really, really powerful stuff I'm sharing with you this, this Saturday morning, uh, this drizzly Saturday morning from Boston. So if you're here, say good morning, say hello, and, and really think about what I'm saying, because I want to get you out of that middle class mindset and really start having you understand the power that you've got that, that opportunity. That's one of the beauties of being an, op of an entrepreneur, is that you can decide how much money you want to make, what kind of lifestyle you want, and how much money you need to make. You know, what do you want to do in your business? What kind of team do you need? All that kind of stuff. And knowing that you can do it is just a matter of, of getting in focus, having the mindset, shifting your mindset, and taking the action, and it all monetizes for you. So does anybody have any questions? We'll see. Um, if you got any questions, you can always reach out after and ask me. Um, and I just want to invite you that if this is something that is interesting you, um, to really start shifting your mindset, to think about having that power to manifest the money. So in other words, instead of when you see something really cool, instead of saying, well, I'm going to wait till I have the money, instead of it's something that you know that could just help your business really explode, then instead being able to say yes, because you know that you've got the power, you know how to monetize the money. So if it's something that interests you, please check out my upcoming course that's starting next week. It's called uh, kpeters.com forward slash slash quick cash 2016 that's kpeters.com forward slash quick cash 2016 and in that course I'm really teaching the concept of, of changing your relationship with money because that's what it's really all about it isn't just about you know bringing in money real quick but really just changing your relationship around money and understanding that money is just an outcome it's just a result it just shows how you're doing so you can ultimately live that life you want to want, which is travel where you want to travel, you know, hire the resources for your business that you want, do the stuff for your family, your community that you want to do, and, and know that you can make decisions instead of from a place of lack, but instead of making decisions from a place of power. Good morning, Colleen. I see you're there, and I see, I'm um, sorry, I my glasses on, so it's hard to see. Uh, good morning, Ima. So good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday, and I'm going to, um, basically, unless anyone has any questions, I'm going to sign off and get on with, with my weekend and, and wish all of you guys yours, too. Um, oh, yeah, good morning back to you, Colleen. <laughs> the print is really really tiny on the, the little Facebook things. I need my glasses. And, um, I, I again, really think about, you know, how is your middle-class mindset holding you back? And I just gave you a little nickel story right here. There's so much more I want to teach you. So... If you're just joining us, go back, listen to the whole live stream, see how that's showing up for you, how you're playing it small instead of playing it big. I want to help you show up in your brilliance. So everybody have a wonderful rest of the weekend, and if you have any questions, reach out. And until um, the next live stream, be brilliant. Bye now.